Hello and welcome to another session of Wines of the World with Lake Onondaga Vineyards. My name is David Cox and today we'll be exploring one of my favorite places I've been so far in the tour and that is the Sandhill Crane Vineyards in Jackson, Michigan. That's outside of Ann Arbor. Um, and I just want to leave with saying, if you find yourself anywhere near there, I would recommend going. Um, it's an absolute blast. And, you know, what we're out there looking for are both, you know, really exceptional wines and really different wines. Uh, that's how we're playing out learning anything about them. So, what we wanted to lead with, you know, just taking a look at something they do, uh, that is that they do some really interesting fruit wine. So here is a bottle of their raspberry wine. Uh, they, they do several different fruit inspired wines there, uh, especially with raspberry. Uh, so using some of the local crops and everything, you know, and really just some delicious stuff. Uh, as you can see, the bottle is empty, so we finished that one off. That is, uh, that's gone. Um, but, you know, they, they do uh, some good stuff with that. And, you know, my favorite stuff they did with it was actually with their meads. And this is just kind of, a, you know, more traditional, maybe sort of a, a grape and honey mead. Um, really quite delicious. This is called the uh, Vignoles Piment. However, you know, if you want to really combine these two things we saw here, here's the Crimson and Clover. And that is a raspberry mead. That was fantastic. It's really something to you know, look for and try out there. Um, and, you know, they have some fun in what they're doing and everything else. Uh, here's one of the best bottles I have seen uh, anywhere, and this is Port in a Storm. Now, it's maybe hard to tell even of me holding it, but this bottle is crooked. Any Port in a Storm, as they say. That was a fantastic one. Uh, they have a number of different dessert wines and things, um, including some ice wines, which we tried, which were quite good as well. Um, but really, you know, the wines were good. They had a good selection, everything else. The best part about going, though, there gets down to the heart of wine tasting. Now, if you go there for a tasting, you get to explore what you like. Now, you know, there's, there's lots of things to try, and we're out there doing all sorts of stuff. We're finding wines we like, wines we don't. And what's great about going to Sandhill Crane for a tasting is that you don't get to try some of their wine. You get to try all of their wines, a listing of about 30, as you go through and try all of them from the whites through the rosé into the reds and then to the dessert wines and so you get to try the entire line uh, and really that is incredibly educational because what that allows you to do is find out not only what you like and what you don't because standing alone a bottle of wine is a pretty good or pretty bad bottle of wine but when you can compare it to others similar but then also different on a gradient between the dries and the sweets. You can really pinpoint down and look at what it is that you like about wine and what wines you like. And you can go back and feel reasonably certain that you can grab a bottle and say that this is a type of wine I like because I've compared it to others and I liked it better. And that, more than anything, was the best part of the experience of going to Sand Hill Crane Vineyards, was one of just education and experience. Uh, I would recommend eat a meal first, be ready to go through and taste 30 different wines. I mean, it's really a phenomenal selection and a phenomenal place to go. I highly recommend it. If you're in the Detroit or Ann Arbor area, make your way over to Jackson and go to Sand Hill Crane Vineyards. This has been David Cox for Lake Onondaga Vineyards. And have a great day. Cheers.